Now, since you know that a complement of a set belongs to the set itself, right? It's the relationship between the universal set and the set itself, right? So there are first two cases where a complement is equal to u minus a. So in that case, the Venn diagram will be drawn only for set A. We're not going to draw set B inside that, okay? Because the complement is only related to the universal set and the set itself, okay? Nothing, no other set is involved. Now, when we are taking the A complement and we are subtracting the elements of A my, from the universal set, so we are excluding the elements of A. Uh, while shading the Venn diagram, we are only going to shade the uh, leftover area of the universal set, excluding the area where set A is drawn. So the entire shaded area is going to be the A complement because A complement represents all the elements of the universal set which are not present in the set A. Okay? So that's why we're not going to shade this area of the set A. We are going to shade the entire universal set rectangle. Now, in the second picture here, you can see that we have taken the complement of a set B. Now, here, I have drawn the circles of set B here. And the shaded portion is the entire rectangle of a universal set, excluding the circle of set B. Which is, when you subtract the elements of set B from the universal set, the remaining elements of universal sets are being shaded in Venn diagram which are not the part of the set B, right? Because complement is kind of an opposite of that set, right? So this is how we represent the complement of a set. So this was today's lecture. Uh, let's uh, meet in my another video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.